Welcome back, people. Jason 134 here. This is going to be part two of episode two because clearly technical difficulties ensued and it forcibly, forcibly ended that last recording. So, yeah. I really don't like it when it does that, but I can't really control when it does that or why. I, I don't know why it does that. It says, like, something like, my window has changed, so we have automatically ended the recording for you. And I'm like, is there a way I can turn that off? Is there? I don't know. So, anyways, we're just going to finish, try to finish this uh, tutorial and move on to the next one, if there is another one. Let's just get on to the next place. Try to. Announce your arrival and drop off these passengers to finish this phase of your exam. You know what to do, engineer. Let's get these passengers where they need to go. Luckily, this is only a tutorial, so there's not any real people in this train. That's why you didn't see anybody actually getting on the train in the last episode. Because it's only a tutorial. If this was real, if this was a uh, realistic uh, passenger hauling, there'd actually be people in those passenger cars, but there's not. move on into this track, lo uh, track lane and drop these people off and then this should be the end of this tutorial hopefully yeah it says it says we're on objective 10 so yeah this should be the end of it the doors. Next! This is where it crashed last time. This is, this is where my last, my, the very first time I made the, it, the whole four There's or forty minute or whatever. In the world. Yeah, and this is the mission it, this is a tutorial more. it crashed on. Well, so only if you can afford them, that is. Let's hope it doesn't Ignore. do that this time. Let's go to the service center.
right, let's back up and make sure we hit that the right track. Let's just head on over here and do this really quickly and then do the thing with the company and the money and the hiring of a worker even though I probably won't be doing that for a while because all the trains are going to be ridiculously expensive. alone with your company, unless you want to be. For now, though, let's hire a helper to perform a delivery for us while we perform our own. Your employee list gives you a quick overview of where they are and what they're doing. If there's an empty... You'll have to supply your employees with equipment, as well as money for fuel and service. Assign a locomotive to your new driver. Now we can click on the driver to view their details or set up a task. We're going to do the latter. On the task creation map, you can see the stations that you have unlocked, which is done by visiting the stations yourself at least once. Clicking on stations will add or remove them from the route. Set up a route now between the coal mine and the power plant. There are other options you can choose in the future, such as having Reserved contracts are an important part of strategically planning your routes. Cargo contracts that are reserved will not expire as they normally would, allowing you to reserve the best contracts for your needs. Let's drive to the coal mine and pick up the contract we reserved. Don't forget to ask for station access. And as you drive, so do your employees. Feel free to check on their progress in the Company Summary tab of your tablet. When your employees complete a task, an update will appear on the HUD, telling you how much money and experience they earned from their task. Let's turn our train around so we can haul Patonkas to that coal the coal lane zone. I believe this is actually the last one because this this I believe this is the last mission for the tutorial because this is where they explain the last little bit of the tutorial and like how to manage a company, how to hire workers, how to put them on jobs and whatnot. Most likely, we're gonna have to come right back here. It'll be interesting to have like a whole bunch of workers and it's like we're all, I assign them all to do the same thing and we're all in a convoy going to the same place. It's like, 
<laughs> yeah, no, that's probably not going to happen because I would make that one train line way too friggin'. Alright, opening up the throttle. <laughs> opening up the throttle. It's time to haul butt. Railroads, railroads, we're going down the railroad, railroad, railroad. We're going down the railroad, going down the railroad, going, going. We're going down the railroad, going down the railroad, going, going. Going down the railroad, going down the railroad, going, going. Going down the railroad, going down the railroad, open up the throttle, time to haul butt. Going, 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 changing the tracks, going to the coal mine, going, going, going to the coal mine, to pick up the coal, pick up the coal and deliver it to the place. Hey, ba da 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 Alright, we're good. Open it time. we maxed out our throttle as fast as we can really go now. Navigate to the track and pick up the wagons. We are here. Time to put everything you've learned to the test. Deliver these wagons to the steel mill. All right, time to put this half by this old girl to the test. Because we're going backwards this time. Yeah, you hear you you hear that right whenever it goes shh, shh. you can hear that little grinding of the wheels that means I'm pushing put a little too much pressure on the tire on the on the rail wheels and I could if I that sound have, sound happens too much here we go
Alright, I gotta I gotta change tracks real quick. One second. Hold up. Alright, now I'm on my now I'm on the right track. I'm just facing the wrong way. So, I mean, I was just fake. I, I didn't switch my seats, so, I mean, I was kind of just guessing what track I was supposed to be taking. I mean, I know which way I'm supposed to be going, because I'm following the yellow line, but the yellow line was also behind me because of, you know, the other things that were not necessarily happening there. So, yeah. I know there are, mi are track missions where you just have to load the cargo in... I think that's in this one. It might be. It might not be. I don't think that's... I don't think I ever had to actually load the cargo. I might have. I'm not sure. Yes. I gotta basically just haul Patonkas all the way down through here. to the steel mill with all it with this coal load Remember when I said that as you drive, so do your employees? Well, you'll have to drive above a certain speed, depending on your chosen difficulty. Uh, feel free to turn that off, though, if it doesn't suit your playstyle. No judgments here. You have to drive above a certain speed just to freaking get your other dri other employees to drive. <laughs> <laughs> so that, uh, that means I have to speed just to make I have to just about speed just to make sure they're actually doing their job. Mm. Maximize that breaking. Break and then we'll, we'll drop this off, and then that will be it, I think. I'm almost positive. Both you and your employee did great work with your deliveries. It's been great to see you in action, Engineer. Good luck with your company. But I have a feeling you won't need it. Congratulations, Engineer. You've completed your engineering Yay! exam with flying colors. And you're now ready to take the rails of Europe without me watching over your shoulder. While the vast network of rails ahead may seem daunting, consider that the reprimand for driving slowly is less severe than the one for hitting other vehicles or breaking any laws. When in doubt, relax and take your time. But you don't have to undertake such a large task alone. There are others like you, all looking to make a dent in the market and transport what they can. As your company and experience grows, you'll be able to hire some of them to work for you. Just like during your exam, the cities across Europe are constantly in need of all kinds of resources and goods. And more than that, there are thousands of people and parcels awaiting transportation between cities. If you and your employees help out enough, 
I've heard that cities give the more uh, accommodating companies preferential treatment. Consider that a tip from a friend, but uh, don't go repeating it. All right. <laughs> I've seen a lot of like he's over me the years, but I've got to admit, <laughs> I think he has. I think he has props time, for me. Take chances, strategize your deliveries, and grow your empire into one of Europe's greatest railway transportation companies. Yes. Yes. We will do it. We will do it. Yes. Ha ha! All right. Since we have made it to this, the car career, this will be the end of the tutorial videos. Episodes one and two, and this one. I believe this is three now. Or two and a half still. I'll have to look. Anyways, uh, if you like this episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you again in the next one. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Peace.